Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how we can break a curve in Affinity Designer version 2. I'm going to use a desktop version on my Mac, but it's rather similar on Windows and iPad. So to break a curve is to separate it into two objects that are still a vector-based objects that we can modify properties or even put it back together if we need. If you can see, I already use a pen tool to draw a line over here. Now I can switch to node tool so the program will show me where the nodes are. I can see there's one node at the center. Let's check what will happen if I click on that and select the break option from the top. So there's option to break curve over here, but you need to select that point first. I click on that and as you can see in my layer section on the right side, now I got like two separate curves selected. Let's jump back to the regular move tool. As you can see, now I can pull them out. I got two separate lines. So we already break the curve correctly without modifying anything. What if I select both of those lines, then switch to the node tool? How many points can we see here? Let's zoom in a bit and I can see two nodes. By selecting both, I can select this area as well and we can use an opposite action, join curves. If I click on that, I join them back together into just one line and there's only a single point here so we don't have any duplicates to worry about let's zoom out as you can see now it's one line again so we already break and rejoin the curve how about this one over here we can do the very same thing right let's say you want to break the curve in the point without the node that's really simple first just click on that point to add the new node and then click break the curve and it's done switch to normal move tool the black one to move the nodes to sorry to move the curve separately all right there's also a similar way for shapes but keep in mind this is a still ellipse so if i change to node tool i cannot really control those nodes i need to Convert to curves first, and now now I can add a node or use existing one to break it. And if I do, nothing really happens yet because I need to break it in two different points. This is a close shape. If we deal with the close shape, you need to break it twice to have an opening. And then we can drag this element out. I break it here and over here. So if you deal with the close shape, remember you need to break it in two different points. There's also a hidden scissors tool in Affinity Designer. Why I say it's hidden? Because it's not on the tool list. What you need to do is you need to select your regular knife. Knife is for cutting close shapes. But if you select the knife and you select a path, a line, like that and you hover your knife on it it's become a scissors tool i hope you can see this now it's knife changing to scissors so i can simply make some cuts with that as well and let's see what happened the line is still one line how about the node view I can see those extra nodes added by cutting with scissors. And if I move it out, I can see that now it's not connected anymore. Same here. So be careful because this is the result you may get by cutting with the scissors. It may appear like nothing happens at first, but if you inspect this closely with the node tool, you will discover that it's all 
cut out into smaller pieces even it show as one curve here on the list on my layer list on the right side it's still one curve but cut it into pieces with the scissors tool all right so that's how you can approach cutting breaking your lines i suggest you to use the node tool and simply select the node you want to use as the separation point or add a new one and then click break curve alternatively you can use scissors tool hidden inside a knife tool i hope this tutorial was helpful and i will see you in the next one